Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So for real, y'all, I know sometimes I lie and I say this is going to be a short video, but I'm not lying today. It really is going to be a short video. It will not, it will not be 20 minutes long, but I wanted to jump on today to tell you something special and also offer you something special. So make sure that you stay to the end so that you can see the special offer. So first of all, happy spring. I want y'all to comment below and let me know if you're ready for the spring if you're still gearing up for the spring have you started planting in your garden comment let me know your status because I feel like I should be further than what I am, but I always have to tell myself, you're exactly where you need to be. Don't stress, everything is gonna fall into place, but um, I just always want things to be so beautiful. So really quick, for all of you that are new, thank you so much for joining us and make sure that you subscribe and follow us because we are here to give you gardening tips, tricks, and techniques in order to grow a beautiful and flourishing garden. Okay, so if you knew, I just want to give you a quick backstory, y'all, and I got to be quick because this video has to be short, but here is the thing, okay? I think gardening and uh, just having a beautiful landscape is really just a part of who I am, so it started with my grandmother. My grandmother had the most beautiful garden, but, you know, we have very few pictures. Um, you just have to go on memories, and you just have to go on what I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all, okay? Okay when you when i say like the fruits of your labor she was out there after general hospital for all of you who know about general hospital now after general hospital went off she was out there and she was out there for hours until it was time for like dinner so i uh, although we weren't physically helping her um, we were, me and my cousins and my sister, we were out there doing things like shelling peas on the porch um, and talking and laughing, but I was always watching her to see what she was doing. And so once I started gardening, like everything started clicking while she was doing some of the things that she was doing. My grandfather also owned a landscaping company. Again, we were not physically involved, but we were in the van, like looking out on what him and my uncle were doing. And so uh, it's just some things when it comes to lawn maintenance that I don't, I don't play about, you know, <laughs> just I just don't play about. And so people are just really shocked um, because sometimes I will get out like uh, when my husband was deployed or he was TDY, I would get out and do my own uh, yard because I just it was just a certain way it had to be. We'll just leave it at that, okay? So let's go to my um, mom and my dad. So my mom was the one who taught us how to get out there and pull weeds and uh, put down pine straw back then. Back then we had to put down pine straw while she was up in her bedroom window talking on the phone. If uh, me or my sister were out there like really playing a lot and giggling and stuff, she would talk, tell Miss Aline to hold on and she'd knock on the window and you know, start pointing. And so we had to get back on it. So I <laughs> I learned the work ethic uh, from my mom. And I'm gonna tell y'all about that in a minute because I actually visited my hometown of Columbus, Georgia this weekend. And so, you know, I had to really, I had to tell my mom, hey, hey, I'm not 10 now, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it my way this time, okay? <laughs> I was careful about how I said it, but I had it, it had to be said. And then my dad, um, I can remember him and some of the other neighbors, like they would seriously have a competition on who had the best yard. So even today, when you go to um, his house and his yard, it's like pristine. And so that's why I tell people, it's, it's just in me, just having a beautiful landscape. And like I learned from the best. Um, but here's the thing. So I went to, um, my hometown of Columbus, Georgia this weekend. And so I was down there to really only help my mom put out mulch because I've told her time and time again, stop bending over at a 90 degree angle. Um, and then calling me two or three days later saying that your back hurts. So I bought her one of those, um, bench that we have we have a video about it where you can either sit on the bench or you can use it as a knee pad and do y'all know she still wouldn't get on it but she's gonna find out when she gets on it she's gonna love it um but i did buy her one of those and so we put out mulch now 
she did one of what we used to do when we was little. She said she was going to take a break. And then I, ne you know, they, her and my aunt, like sat on the bench outside on the porch and just chatted it up while I was, <laughs> while I was there, um, you know, still putting down mulch and planting flowers. But let's backtrack really quick. So, um, when we went to the big box stores, she saw some of the most beautiful flowers. And I really, I really wanted some of those flowers. But let me tell you about my mom. If she says she is going to get mulch, she is not going to be walking all over the store. She's not going to venture down different aisles because I actually had the app. And so I had to ask someone um, where was the right wall, you know, on the app for the bench. And we had to go inside. And she's like, we got to go inside. And I was like, yeah, we got to go inside, Ma. Come on. <laughs> it's not going to hurt you. I saw so many beautiful plants. But she's always been like that. Like, if she says she's going, even in the grocery store, if she says she's going to get relish, she's going down the relish aisle and she's coming out. And that's it. She's not going all over the store. Now, me, I'll venture up and down the aisles to see what's going on. But she wasn't doing that. But here is the thing. Okay, so she saw some beautiful flowers and I told my mom, get whatever you want, okay? So I'm gonna show you some pictures because one of her flav favorite flowers is the, um, she call them Gerber daisies. I call them Gerbera daisies because it has an A on the end. Not sure. Um, pronounce things the way you want to. You know, who says it's right or wrong? Just do what you want to do. That's what I tell people. If you, if you want it, if you think it should be said this way, say it this way. We won't even get into that, okay? <laughs> so, I told her to get what you want to. Um, so, um, she got dahlias and then she also got the... Um, Gerbera daisies, but I want y'all to look at the Gerbera daisies and the pot that is it in, if you can see it. So the pot that is in was the actual original wash pot that my grandmother used to wash clothes in. So this is why I say, and I'm going somewhere with this y'all, this is why I say with container gardening, you have to let your imagination be your guide. There's a few things that you need to do in order to contain her garden, but you can do it. Now, my husband, a few years ago, when she started using this wash pot, um, he had to get like a special drill bit to drill through. This is like cast iron, okay? It's no joke. You, you're not about to go and just be picking this up just to say you're going to pick it up. Just think about it. She used to watch wash all the kids clothes and i'm talking about seven kids okay seven living kids that she used to wash their clothes in and i was like whoo i i'm not even gonna go into that either okay so um my mom loves this um she loves this wash pot and every year this is what she changes out um with all the annual flowers last year she uh grew marigolds she wanted the gerber daisies this year but this is what i tell y'all when it comes to container garden don't limit yourself it can be vegetables flowers herbs um we also planted the dahlias this is in like a little um area that comes up um and goes up to the steps to the front door but this is the special that i wanted to offer you all first of all for spring and first of all to not limit yourself so i'm going to put a link for our container gardening guide made easy okay seven dollars today you can get it okay seven dollars this is going to teach you the things that you need to know with growing in containers because it's different than growing in ground soil and so I want y'all to have the fundamentals um, to be able to grow because like I tell people, while I stayed in Germany and while I stayed in Italy, I had to grow in containers. We didn't have a yard. Um, we didn't have like any space in ground. But let me tell you, I was growing as if I was growing in ground with all types of different herbs, flowers, and vegetables. So I'm going to put that link in the description i'm going to put it in the bio this is going to be the seven dollar uh welcome to spring container gardening guide i want y'all to get the fundamentals i want you to start growing something this year 
make it your goal to grow something okay so that is what i did this weekend i hope you all had an amazing weekend and we're not over 20 minutes so again thank you all so much for watching make sure you share this um, video with your family and your friends so that way they can get on the special um, as well and if you have a question please or any questions please reach out and let me know we'll talk again soon thank you all so much for watching and until the next video bye bye